All right, well here we are, flight number two. I'm starting to think uh, maybe I should bring my little Piper Cub out here to see if I can crash it into something. Of course it's in the shop right now where I've been banned, so I can't go get it, but maybe after all this is over, <clears throat> I'll come out here on the weekends. In the morning you gotta come early or else uh, the wind kicks up and this is a really bad spot for it right here. I don't know if you can see, there's that looks like a tower, that's actually an old launch site, but beyond that's the ocean. So it gets uh, really windy over here. Let's see if I can do this without the bugs attacking me. And here we go. Okay, now there's a bug in my ear. That's a Bad thing about the nice days is the bugs come out and harass you while you're trying to fly. Today we're supposed to have some uh, offshore winds. It's supposed to get hot, which for us, it's supposed to get 82 and 84 on base. For us, that's like, you know, people are gonna start melting. It's normally, you know, 65, 67. Almost never gets into the 70s. I mean, 70 is considered a warm day. <clears throat> and it's an offshore flow, so it's supposed to get really windy too, so I figured I better get out here early if I want to get some flights in. And God knows I need it. Man, it's been such a long time. Well, I better try to stay away from that flagpole. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember some bug spray or something next time. I went backpacking with some friends of mine and my son uh, several months back. Okay, I gotta get this thing back over here some more. I'm getting a little out of, out of hand. It's a little further than I like. Anyway, uh, we went to a place where it can get really, oh, what the heck was that? A little DVR. Bugs are getting abusive on me over here. Anyway, uh, I bought some of these, uh, <clears throat> they're like little fans you put on you and they have like bug repellent inside of them. And we only used one or two of them. I've got a couple laying around. Maybe I'll bring them next time and clip it on my belt. That would sure help my situation here. I can practice my sight in. Ugh. Bugs. I still can't fly nose in. It just eludes me. I think, uh, just about every time I've attempted it, I've crashed. <laughs> so I've uh, just uh, resolved myself to the fact that that's not gonna happen for me. And uh, really, it's not that important to me either. So as long as I can come out here and do my little figure eights and hover a little bit, 
I'm happy. I don't see myself being in any competitions ever, so I think I'm good to go. To me, it's uh, I'm grateful every time I can fly without a crash, so. That well, wind's starting to kick up a little bit. It's supposed to be an offshore, but I'm getting it in my face, which is telling me, actually it's coming off my right side. It's coming out of the northwest. That's pretty typical though for us. Okay, just about lost my orientation on that one. Time to get her back over here. That's the thing with all the vegetation around. Sometimes I'll lose it like in the trees and stuff. Like the trees in the background. This isn't too bad because they're far away so they're relatively low on the horizon but like those ones over there can be uh, bad for me. Shoulders are starting to tense up. Oh, uh, well, this is kind of a qu oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's my battery. Thank God. Come on back. Hello, hello. Bug in my ear. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I may not be doing a third flight. The bugs are getting worse. And they're getting brave too. Whew. All right. Oh yeah, the wind's kicking up too. Which is not too bad right now. Can't believe no one uses this field. <clears throat> I tried contacting the uh, the club <clears throat> and they seemed like uh, they weren't interested in having members or even having meetings or even flying they said that they fly once a month and I thought well what the heck of course I can't really talk because lately I don't fly any more often than that but of course there was a time I was flying every day but uh, they didn't have any helicopter flyers either so um, plus they wanted like an enormous amount of money for dues and I couldn't figure out well if you guys only fly once a month you don't have any meetings what the hell are the dues for so and obviously they're not using the dues to maintain this place and it belongs to the government anyway so I mean everything's all run down and rickety Looks like nobody's been here for a year, two years. I do see there's a couple of, <clears throat> look like they're fairly new radio stands. So who knows, maybe people are coming out here. But every time I've been out here to look at the place, uh, it's been abandoned. No one's been here ever. Well, anyway. I'm going to log off for this flight, and uh, if I don't see you again soon, take it easy. Bye.